of Avera Growers here. I'm Breda. And I'm Christina. And today we're talking about the color purple. You want to go ahead and start us off, Christina? Yeah. So over here I have the Angelonia. This is a really awesome, uh, more of an annual plant that you can have uh, just in front of your bed. It's going to be one of the lower level plants. So he's going to be closer to like a ground cover or just, you know, in the, the one to two foot range. So at the very end as, of your garden bed layers. Has these really, really beautiful deep purple flowers um, with some little striping kind of right in the center of the flower. Super gorgeous. Uh, it's going to get these little bloom spikes and it gets covered blooms all season long. Um, so it's a really wonderful little plant to have in your collection. Then behind me, we have this gorgeous Laura Pedalum and some Grapta Pedalum. So first we're going to talk <laughs> about this one over here. This Laura Pedalum has been trained up to be a tree but most of the ones that we have in the nursery are going to be small shrub forms. You can keep them as shrubs. Uh, they are evergreen, so you can have them as a great uh, back layer or just one of your middle layers in your garden beds. It's going to keep this beautiful purple foliage, purple reddish foliage, and then it also blooms these hot pink, almost reddish colored flowers in the spring. And then it also does it again in the fall, but definitely more prolifically in the spring. And it looks gorgeous. So you can cut it, trim it low, you know, maybe three to four feet. Maximum, it will get a six by six, but you can also let it get tall. You can trim it really thin. Uh, you can trim it however you want. We chose to do ours in a tree, and I think it really shows off this space below it where we have all of this graptopedalum. This is also known as a ghost plant. So it's really cool. It's an evergreen succulent. It uh, kind of has this lilac purple hue to it with some greenish blue centers. Very beautiful, and it'll bloom these white flowers too. This one, you're going to want to protect it in the winter time for the best results. Um, but in a mild winter, it should be just fine. But you, just to be on the safe side, we'd recommend to protect it. Again, it's super cool, very beautiful, has a lot of really good texture to either your garden bed or if you do it in a pot the way we have it here, it's easier to protect it in a pot too. But it's a gorgeous plant. It's a great one if you're looking for like some fillers or some spillers. I know a lot of people are doing some pots, so it's a really good one to add into pots. And some more pot ideas. So you could do one of these zebra spider worts. These are really good little tropical plants. So they're really good either inside or you could do them as a ground cover just in the winter. They don't like it too much. So either protect them or just move them inside if you can. Uh, but they give some really, really nice variegated color up on top. And then as you can see down below, they have this really deep purple. So it's really pretty. I have one right now at my house in a big pot. You can't even see the pot anymore. It's trailing so much. They it's grow really so fast one. too. It's a really good one to add. Uh, this one I have is a Penicetum First Night. It's a really pretty grass, has this really nice deep purple fo uh, foliage color to it. This one get three to four feet. If it's super happy, I've seen it get like four by four. But it's a perennial, so it dies down in the winter time, but it'll come back and it's just a showstopper. It gives you some really nice height and some, and some very good color. <laughs> Yeah, it really looks good against like some lighter um, backgrounds. So if you have like a white house, um, those look really pretty. Like any lighter of the beige colored houses, like brick or however your, um, your outside looks, they can look really pretty in front of that. And I do notice they kind of grow a little bit more taller than they do wide. So they can have almost like that columnar look that a lot of people are after, especially like on the sides of uh, doorways and things like that. But they can also do full sun to part sun. So they're Super, super cool, super versatile. You can pop them in wherever you like to add that really cool look of, um, you know, kind of some unique color in your yard. Yeah, purple is such a great color to add in. I mean, it gives you lots of contrast. It goes great with green. It's one that you can't miss. But thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Thank you.